Now, we'll cover this in more detail in subsequent labs. And in lab one, you're not really doing too much work with map projections. But I just want to take a moment to show you how to switch between map projections in ArcGIS Pro and to illustrate some of the impacts that um, map projections have. So ArcGIS Pro by default uses the web Mercator projection. And so I'm not a big fan of this projection. I've mentioned before in class that it really distorts areas uh, farther away from the poles and disproportionately overrepresents them, conveys them as being perhaps more important than they actually are, because oftentimes the size of a land area is equated with importance. So northern Canada is severely stretched out, Alaska is very big, UK is much larger than it should be, uh, whereas countries in South America and Africa uh, are, for instance, uh, represented as much smaller relative to these more northerly areas, despite the fact that Africa is actually the second largest continent and is much larger than Europe, it doesn't necessarily appear that way. That said, this is the standard projection that is used for web mapping on the internet. Uh, one reason being that it's fairly easy to compute uh, and it's fairly easy to pan zoom and do all these things quickly. And so it is well suited for um, representing on the web. Also, when you're at small, when you're looking at small areas, so like large scale maps zoomed in, uh, you don't necessarily run into the same issues where you, when you're zoomed into a, one specific area, you can't tell about the distortions or anything. Uh, so there are pros and cons to it. But point being, this is the default projection that they use in Arc Pro. But it's very easy to change your projection. You just right click go to properties and then you can go to coordinate system and so currently we are in the WGS 1984 um, you can set it to just a geographic coordinate system but generally speaking you want to work in a projected coordinate system you can click this drop down and you can see lots of different options so for instance if we wanted to look at a polar projection we could say North Pole azimuthal equidistance. So this is one of those flat azimuthal projections that I was talking about. Well suited for the North Pole, but really not good for anything in the Southern Hemisphere or really much beyond the Arctic. Change it again. Instead of polar, let's look at a UTM projection. So we can do the North American data in 1983, and we will set it to use TM zone 10N. This is the coordinate system of the UTM zone that Vancouver's in. So we'll use this one quite a bit. You see, this only represents one slice of the Earth. UTM projections aren't designed to represent the whole Earth. And beyond that, the areas over here and over here have considerable distortion. But the areas in the middle, say right by Vancouver, are very well suited for this map projection. And so it minimizes distortion when you're looking at large scale areas um, when you're quite zoomed in. If you want to choose a projection that's well suited for Canada, you can go to projected coordinate systems, continental, North America, Canada, Lambert, conformal kind. This is the standard projection that is used by Stats Canada. You see it works quite well for the whole country. You wouldn't necessarily want to use it just to represent Vancouver because you see being far on the west side of the continent, everything here is at a bit of an angle. But if you're displaying the whole country, this projection is a great choice. Now, this is a conformal projection that is designed to be aesthetically pleasing. It's not necessarily designed to maintain area. If you want to maintain the area, you need to use an equal area projection. So there is a Canada Lambert or Canada Albers equal area conic projection, which you can use to do equal area calculations for the whole country. 
um, you can see for the most part things look fine, but you get up here things do look a little bit squished. BC also has its own specific map projection. You can go to projected coordinate systems, national grids, Canada, and find the NAD 1983 BC Albert. Click OK. This projection is specifically designed for British Columbia. So it works really well for the whole province. Anywhere else, it's not really optimized for that. You can also search for map projections. It's a bit convoluted to just find them in here. There's all these options and it's hard to know what to pick. Search for like UTM 10N, type it in, hit enter. got to include the word zone. It's a little finicky, um, but it can be helpful. So you go and you see it filters down to what you want. And then there's the options and you can pick it and select from there. If you want to search for the Lambert conformal conic, you can type Canada Lambert you see that there's this option that pops up. So I will have you work a bit more with projections in lab coming up. So in week two and three and four, we'll build on this and have you apply it. Um, I don't want to overwhelm everyone right off the bat. I know it's a pretty difficult concept to wrap your head around, but hopefully this has at least provided some bit of an introduction and clarity to the concept.